Hey everyone, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today I want to do a video response to Matt Monarch's video about wanting peace in the raw food movement. Okay, so I'm going to put a link to the video in the description below. So the thing about asking for peace is, you know, we must be practicing peace ourselves if we want our request for peace to be well received. And that includes being kind to animals and not exploiting people. So that's where I have a little bit of a problem with your request, Matt, okay? So there's only there's a bit of disharmony in the raw food movement and the reason is majorly because there's people over here exploiting animals, exploiting people and they're cashing in on it. And there's people over here trying to look after people in the animals and calling these people out who are over here and saying, no, we don't like this, you need to stop this. And that's the only way that change has ever really come about in history is people rising up, people speaking up. Okay, if you don't agree with something, if you see animals being exploited and you don't say anything or you support that person exploiting them, you're saying it's okay. All right, so we need to speak up. You know, these animals need our voice. So that's the reason there's a bit of disharmony and the people who are getting the heat on them. They want peace, of course, they want us to go away. But that's not the way it works. You know, we want peace for the animals as well. So until that, you can bring peace, you can include the animals in your little peace plan, your peace party, then your words fall on deaf ears and they frustrate people, absolutely frustrate people. Okay, because you're selling these products, this deer antler, dear placenta and colostrum you've been doing it for years we've been putting pressure on you to stop using it for years to stop um, selling it for years and people have had enough okay people don't understand why someone in the raw food raw vegan movement would sell such cruel cruel products we expect more they expect more from us in the raw food movement we're meant to be more conscious okay like we're not like the meat and dairy industry are we you know we we know that this is cruel. Velvet deer antler extract, I mean, come on. People do not have a deer antler deficiency. It's a totally unnecessary, totally cruel product. I mean, have a look at this photo of the, the process, A, B, C, D. Have a look at what happens. Like, how cruel is that? Look at the fear in that deer's eyes. It's getting literally a bone. This is a bone. Its antler is a bone. Sawn off its head. How can that ever be done humanely? It can't be, okay? There is no way to humanely saw the antler off a deer. You're not collecting them. I'd be thinking differently if you're just collecting them on the ground. I'd still be thinking this is a useless supplement. But I'd be like, good. You know, no deer has to have its bone sawn off. And the colostrum... The baby cow is ripped away from the mother as soon as it's born, so it doesn't get to suckle that first bit of milk, that vital bit of bonding between the mother and the baby, and also that, you know, that formula that it needs for that, that growth, you know, that initial growth period. And, you know, you take it away and you sell it as colostrum and as some sort of superfood for people. And the placenta, I don't know, where do I need to start with the placenta? It's like... It just does not make any sense to be eating the placenta of a deer. And farm deers, come on, stop farming them. Stop putting them through cruelty. Stop exploiting them. Okay, so this is what this video is about. People are getting frustrated. Like, I'm sure that you came into the raw food movement, you know, trying to help people, wanting to help people. I'm really hoping that's why you came into the movement. Okay, but now it seems like the dollar has just taken over and it's just become all about money. I mean, I know you wrote a blog about being a millionaire. And I read that blog, but you took it down. And you know what? It doesn't make you a bad person if you're a millionaire. Good on you. That's fine. You can be a millionaire. But did you do it on the back of suffering? Ask yourself that question. Were you exploiting animals during that time to make money? You can be a millionaire, but open your heart to the animals. Include the animals. I mean, I would rather live in the gutter. I would rather be living in the gutter in the sewerage rather than exploiting animals and exploiting people for money. It's just disgusting. And I know you're better than that. I know you and Angela, 
Dave Wolf, Daniel Vitalis. I know you're all better than that. And you know, put aside any personal shit, you know, any personal feelings you have for me, any negative feelings. Put that aside and let's focus on what's important here. And that's on keeping animals safe, protecting them, not exploiting them, not exploiting people, promoting raw fruits and vegetables or, you know, whole food, plant foods. That's what raw vegan and vegan's about. Now, don't use the raw vegan movement to cash in. That's just, there's too much of that going on. And there's too many people supporting people who do that. You know, if you're another well-known person in the raw food movement and you're saying that, that animal exploitation's okay, or if you're not speaking up about it, or if you're saying, oh, like, you know, I support you, then you're saying it's okay. You're putting your stamp of approval on this animal abuse. So animals are not ours to turn into products, okay? They want to live just as badly as we do. They want to live a peaceful, long life. They don't want to be abused and exploited. So this is a plea from me to you, Matt, to Tay and Dave, to take those cruel products off your list. If you don't take them off, make a video and explain why the heck you have them on. Because every time someone asks you, Matt, you delete the question. You're avoiding the question. And if you've got a product which is that you're selling and you can't answer questions about it, then you've got to really, that's a red flag. Why can't you ask, answer questions about it? So please don't worry about, you know, whether, I know you're probably thinking, oh, you know, if I take it off now, then they're going to, they won or something. It's not about that, okay? You talk about ego, transcend the ego and do the right thing. Peace.